Okay, so that's I die with the uh, move where we come from here. And we turn and lift, and then we step out like this. And um, while it's entirely possible uh, that uh, someone might be blocking something up over there and then coming in to block something else, it would be much better for us if we could just use it as uh, something that works when, when we're in a, a more realistic kind of situation. So if we take the situation where we're already closed in, where it's already in the middle of the fight, and we look at the scooping nature of it, if I try anything up here, that's where his strength is, and that becomes a problem. But if I drop this arm down, he finds it very hard to control this arm. It can go in all sorts of places that he can't really do anything about. So I could capture the leg and take that and then drop it. And that would give me that scoop. Okay? But what we'd like to do is just have another look at um, a different way of using it. So we're in here like this. And if I drop down like this and I just use this side of the hand now as a weapon, as a, a striking tool. So we hit and then we hit back in. And whether it catches his arm or it catches his neck, that's going to be useful, isn't it? And then maybe I just slide that like that and do the other one. Because I couldn't do it initially. If we're up here like this and I try and just do that, then he's going to fight me off. But if I go bang and then bang, then he's not able to stop that arm from being used. So we, get, we go through multiple layers, and the cat tells us, strike down there before you attack from the outside, and by the way, that buys you the right to use the inside as well.